Let us now take the fifth model from profit and loss where we have a set of questions where either the selling price of two articles or the cost price of the two articles are equal and also the profit percentage and the loss percentage made on each, each of these articles are equal and we are supposed to find out what would be the overall profit or loss percentage. Let us look at the first example. The question says a shopkeeper bought two ceiling fans for rupees 800 each. He sold one fan at a profit of 12% and the other at a loss of 12%. What would be his overall profit or loss in the transaction? So we need to find out the overall profit or loss which is made by the shopkeeper when he has sold both the fans. Now as given in the question, the shopkeeper bought two fans for rupees 800 each. We understand that the price which you pay to buy some article is the cost price of the article. So very clearly, the cost price of the two fans is rupees 800 each. So the cost price of the first fan is 800 and for the second fan is also 800. The next point here is he sold one fan at a profit of 12% and the other at a loss of 12%. So let us assume that the first fan was sold at a profit of 12% and the second fan was sold at a loss of 12%. So the profit on the first fan, let us take it as P1, is equal to 12%. And the loss on the second fan, let us take it as L2, is also 12%. And from this data, we are supposed to find out what would be his overall profit or loss in this transaction. Now as discussed in model number 1, whenever cost price and the profit percentage are given to us, we can find out the selling price. For example, when the profit is 12%, we understand that selling price should be 100 plus 12, 112%. So very clearly the selling price here of the first fan should be 112%. And the cost price is given as 800. So 100% is equivalent to 800. We are supposed to find out what is 112%. And this will come out to be 800 plus 96 that is 896 rupees. Similarly for the second fan here we know that the cost price is 800 that means again the 100% is 800 but the loss was 12%. If the loss is 12% selling price must be 100 minus 12 that is 88%. So selling price of the second fan should be 88%. And again if 100% is 800 88% would be equal to 704 rupees. So now we know the selling price of each of the fans. The selling price of the first fan is 896 and that of the second fan is 704 rupees. So let us now proceed to find out what would be the overall profit or loss made by the shopkeeper. Now overall cost price is nothing but sum of the individual cost prices that is P1 plus P2 which is equal to 800 plus 800 that is equal to 1600 rupees. And the overall selling price is S1 plus S2 which will be equal to the selling price of first fan is 896 plus that of the second fan is 704 which comes out to be again 1600 rupees. So you find here that the overall cost price is 1600 and the overall selling price is also rupees 1600. Now if the cost price and the selling prices are equal there will not be any profit or any loss. So we can say that there is going to be no profit no loss in this transaction. So the answer here is no profit, no loss as both the selling prices and the cost prices are equal. So now we can understand that whenever the cost price of two articles are same and the profit percentage is equal to loss percentage, the answer has to be no profit, no loss. So from next time onwards, without doing any of these calculations, our simple answer here should be no profit, no loss. But remember, there are conditions which have to be satisfied. The answer here will be no profit, no loss if and only if the cost price of both the articles are equal and the profit percentage on one article is equal to the loss percentage on the other. So only when these two conditions are satisfied, we can take the answer as no profit, no loss. Otherwise, we need to go by the general procedure as we have discussed here. Let us now take one more example from model 5 that we have just discussed. The question here is a person sold two articles for rupees 1200 each. He made a profit of 20% on one and a loss of 20% on the other. What will be the overall profit or loss in percentage? Now, If you try to observe here, the example 2 that is given here is quite similar to example 1. Even in that case, the profit made on one article was equal to the loss made on the other article in terms of percentage. 
but one major difference that we find in this example when compared to the previous one is that here a person sold two articles for rupees 1200 each that means here the selling prices of the two articles are equal whereas in the previous example the cost price of the two articles were equal so don't have a misunderstanding that even in this case the answer will be no profit no loss remember friends answer will be no profit no loss only when the cost prices are equal and the percentage profit is equal to percentage loss but as you can see here we have no idea about the cost prices we only know that the selling prices are equal and percentage profit on one is equal to percentage loss on the other so let us try to solve this question in the standard procedure first now we can understand that selling price of the first two article is 1200 and that of the second article is also 1200 why because both of them were sold for 1200 each the profit on one of the articles is 20 percent and the loss on the other is also 20 percent so let us assume that the first article was sold at a profit so profit on first one should be 20 percent and the second one was sold at a loss of 20 percent now again with respect to model number one once we know the selling price and the profit or loss percentage we can find out the cost price as you can see here profit is 20 percent if the profit is 20 percent selling price should be 100 plus 20 that is 120 percent but that 120 percent is given as 1200 so if 120 percent is 1200 the cost price which is always 100 percent will be equal to 1000 so we can say that the cost price is 1000 when the selling price is 1200 and the profit is 20 percent similarly here the selling price is 1200 and the loss is 20 percent now we understand that if the loss is 20 percent selling price should be 100 minus 20 that is 80 percent so this 1200 is equivalent to 80 percent and we are supposed to find out the cost price which is always 100 percent so if 80 percent is 1200 100 percent should be what by cross multiplication we will get the value as 1500 so we can say that the cost price of the second article must be 1500 based on the given selling price and the loss now since we have got both the cost prices here let us now find out the overall selling price and the overall cost price the overall selling price s that is s1 plus s2 can be taken as 1200 plus 1200 which is equal to 2400 rupees similarly the overall cost price c can be taken as c1 plus c2 that is 1000 rupees is c1 and 1500 is c2 so this comes out to be 2500 rupees so we find that the total selling price is 2400 and the total cost price is 2500 so very clearly the cost price of both the articles together is more than the selling price of both the articles together that means overall cost price is more than overall selling price and we know that if the cost price is more than selling price there will be a loss so we need to find out that loss in percentage and we know that loss in terms of percentage can be taken as cost price minus selling price by cost price into 100 so cost price here is 2500 minus selling price that is 2400 which comes out to be 100 rupees or nothing but loss by cost price loss here is 100 rupees 2500 minus 2400 is a loss that is equal to 100 100 divided by cost price 2500 into 100 so this will be equal to 4 percent so we can say that the answer here is 4 percent loss why because zeros anyway get cancelled 1 by 25 into 100 will be equal to 4. So the answer here should be 4 percent loss. But friends as this is a special case where the selling price of each article is equal and at the same time the profit made on the first article is equal to the loss made on the second article in terms of percentage we need not write all these steps to get the answer. This question can be solved with the help of a shortcut formula which is as follows. The overall loss percentage can be taken as x squared by 100 percent where x is nothing but the common gain or loss or common profit or loss for example here we find that the profit is 20 percent and the loss also is 20 percent so the common gain or loss x in our case is 20 so the answer can be directly taken as 20 squared by 100 we know that 20 squared is 400 and 400 by 100 is 4 so the answer here is 4 percent loss so this is the shortcut formula to solve such questions remember that always the overall loss should be taken as 
x square by 100 plus. But because this is a shortcut formula, you also need to take care of the star mark, which means conditions apply. This particular formula is only applicable in certain conditions. And those conditions here are, the first one is selling price should be equal for both the articles. S1 must be equal to S2. And the second condition is profit percentage on one article should be equal to the loss percentage on the second one. Only when these two conditions are satisfied, we can apply the formula x squared by 100. Otherwise, we need to follow the normal procedure. So friends, simply remember that whenever the selling prices of the two articles are equal and the percentage profit on one is equal to the percentage loss on other, the answer should be x squared by 100, where x is the common gain or loss percentage. And this question is quite opposite to the previous example where the cost prices were equal and the percentage profit was equal to percentage loss. So wherever the cost prices are equal and the percentage profit is equal to percentage loss, the answer has to be no profit, no loss. And wherever selling prices are equal and the percentage profit is equal to percentage loss, the answer can be taken as x squared by 100. And remember in these type of cases, always we will have a loss. So no need to worry whether this is 4% profit or 4% loss. It has to be 4% loss only. So depending on the question, you can either say that the answer is no profit, no loss or apply the shortcut formula that is x squared by 100. And if these conditions are not satisfied, then you can follow the normal procedure and get the required answer. Hi, I'm sure all of you have enjoyed this session by our experts. Want to watch other topics as well? Banker's Choice online course can help you to do that. Banker's Choice is the first of its kind in India which can help you to learn from anywhere, anytime. It provides more than 350 videos on various topics for bank exams. Not just that, you get live doubt clearing sessions and hundreds of online tests to practice. Thousands of students have benefited from Banker's Choice online program and have successfully established their career. You can be the next. For more details, call on 1800 103 3040. Thank you.